person. Um, for the people that are coming in, as you're coming in, welcome. So what I wanted to focus in on uh, this evening for this practice was um, working with emotions. And in particular, the cool thing about meditation and in particular about yoga nidra also is that you can work with emotions that may have been kind of being recycled in your experience over time. And you can do so in a way that is proactive so that you're not sort of just trying to deal with a, a, a sudden emotion that you're experiencing, but you, you actually are able to um, bring it into the meditation from within this space that you're already kind of in a relaxed state, possibly relaxed. So we don't have to be relaxed, but in the practice that can be what happens when we tune into our breath and do body sensing. So as part of the beginning of the yoga nidra, we'll do that. We'll do body sensing and, and breath sensing. And then there's this piece with working with an emotion. So what I'd love us to do is to consider an emotion that you have that you have basically um, been experiencing on and off through different moments of your life. What I'd suggest is you don't choose the, on a scale from one to 10, you don't choose the 10 emotion, right? Um, you, we don't want to work with trauma um, proactively in this kind of a context. But what I would say is um, if, if you're willing to just think about and look at like what emotions might have been resurfacing again and again in your experience. And, and if you just, if you, if you consider that, um, what emotions that may have been present or that may you've, you might've felt this morning or last week, or maybe it's something you haven't felt in a while, but it's something that you have worked with a lot. So consider that it could be something like, um, disappointment. It could be anxiety or, or frustration or anger. It could be anything even like, um, sort of a feeling of numbness. So even when you feel nothing, that can be something. Could be a minor feeling of just off or down or hard to have energy for something. So consider, and it, and it could also be in this practice that you wanna work with an emotion like happiness or joy. Something that maybe you've refused and that wasn't entirely welcome in your experience. So what we're looking for here is an emotion that we've experienced, you know, throughout our lives. And then also something that maybe we've refused and we don't like when we experience it. Even if we've made friends with it, there's still some way that it keeps coming back in such a way that there feels like there's something that's undone here. So what we'll do is when we get to that part of the practice, this is where we'll work proactively with it. What we're going to do is invite it in and we'll, we're gonna do something called voice dialogue and there's a couple questions that we'll ask this is a bit of a mashup of different things like voice dialogue and feeding your demons and um internal family systems other kinds of work where we're looking at these aspects of ourselves that we've refused so when we get to that part of the practice what we're going to do is welcome in the emotion feel feel how it feels in our body and then we'll actually start dialogue dialoguing with it because what can happen is in meditation you can continuously welcome an emotion over time and you just learn to be with it you learn to downregulate. you learn that this is coming and going in my experience and in fact I'm the witness to this emotion that's coming and going in my experience this is very powerful on its own and there's work that we can do when we're able to actually reach in and engage with that emotion Maybe, you know, a part comes in that's us at a younger age, or it's a marshmallow monster that looks funny and is crying. I mean, it could be anything. It's, it's basically we're opening the door to our psyche and saying, when this emotion comes in the door, what does it look like? So we'll do that in the practice, but I'm kind of priming us here to be able to go into it. And we're going to ask this emotion some questions as we do so. When we've, when we've gotten into the yoga nidra practice and our, our nervous systems are in a regulated state and we're feeling calm and relaxed, 
when we're able to meet these parts of our psyche, the psyche speaks to us. And sometimes we can kind of get an unlock or see what has driven us unconsciously that's been asking, actually just knocking at the door, asking for attention, some love and care and asking to be seen and heard. Um, I had a story I thought of, which actually I put this in my book, um, The Blind Spot Effect, but it's, it's where I was teaching a retreat one time and there was a person there who had dealt with anger a lot in their life. And it, they were finding that it was actually moving and had been in depression, actually. The anger had was underneath the depression that was there. And when I was asking the people and the participants to, to meet an emotion, this person said, you know, I just feel really angry. And I asked, you know, if you welcome in the anger, uh, what does it want? And, you know, it, it, the anger for this person was saying, you know, basically F off. <laughs> And um, I said, okay, let's go into the practice and we're going to invite this in. And what happened for that person in the practice was they were able to meet the anger. And when it walked in to the, to the room, it was their five-year-old self that was mad at them, that just wanted to be listened to and, and played with. And so this person got down on the floor with them and was playing Legos together and just had this really powerful experience where they're reconnecting with this thing they've been refusing for so long, anger, but there was a message behind it. And so when they came out of the meditation, they said, you know, wow, I actually feel like this depression has lifted. I feel more in contact with myself and actually I want to go home from this retreat and go play with my, my child, because I feel like I've been distancing from them because they're kind of the same age as I was at this point when, when I felt angry because I wasn't being met. So that's how powerful this is. And you can use it, you know, with an emotion you experience throughout the day, just once, or you can use it with something that's been sort of one of, as I'm speaking, this kind of recycled emotion. So you choose as we go into the practice. And also if we get to that point and nothing comes to you, then let my words be a backdrop to your own practice. So you could continue doing breath sensing. You could feel yourself as the awareness that's noticing everything that's arising in your experience. In other words, you don't have to do it this way and you don't have to be that engaged during that part of the practice to get the benefits. But it is part of yoga nidra and meditation where we're looking not just to downregulate our nervous systems, but we're, look, we're looking to meet and integrate the, the contents of our, our psyche that have been split off from um, our conscious awareness. And as we begin to reach out and connect with and meet these parts of ourselves, you know, it can be really powerful. And we begin to have allies instead of, you know, enemies or um, kind of eye roll things that, oh, here it is again. You know, it's like, oh, you know, for me, the, the big one was anxiety. Um, but I have others as well. And the cool thing is you can do this practice again and again and, and always, you know, find something new. So I'll share that when I have something, some new aspect of myself that I'm beginning to meet that I hadn't seen before, what I'll do is I'll go back into that space in that room and check in, how is it now? Is there something that I want and need? And as I do that, you know, I'm building relationship with myself. And as I build relationship with myself, you know, it's just what happens is that the external relationships change, right? And so the reason for doing this is not to navel gaze. It's really to encounter more of the fullness of who we are. And as we do so, see more clearly, get out of our own way more. It, it can happen that um, our, our emotions can just drive us unconsciously. So can our beliefs, and we'll get to that in another one of these sessions. But it's kind of like this thing that, you know, the emotions there and it's in your experience and you're either just trying to refuse it and get rid of it or tolerate it or avoid it, push it down. There, there's all kinds of different, really uh, brilliant ways we try to escape our own present moment experience, right? And so in the process of meditation helps us learn, you know, 
hey, actually the most efficient thing to do in this moment is to meet what's here. So the reason why we do this proactively in this practice where we're going for an emotion and, and, and fighting it in and dialoguing with it is because we know we are fairly confident we're gonna be experiencing it again in the future. And how would it be in the future when that emotion arises? Not only to welcome it, meet it, you know, allow it to be here, the process of meditation, but to go, oh, hello, friend. Oh, there must be something I'm needing or wanting right now that, um, you know, there's, there's a messenger here to inform me. And this goes deep. So, you know, we don't always find what we want to find. <laughs> we find what's actually there when we do the practice. And I think that's that's what's important about recognizing when you do work with your emotions, you, you get what is actually there. If you're, if you're being honest with yourself and, um, you know, we're all really good at self-delusion too. So maybe self-delusion is there and that's what you're working with. But, um, the point is that there's a, there's a gentleness to the process and a trustworthiness to the process that when you look at your experience inwardly, um, if you, if you look, you know, for interest and love of truth, then what you encounter and meet is, is what's here. And it's, it's kind of undoing that thing of our idealized image of who we want to be or what we'd like to be working with, et cetera. And so, um, this is the whole setup for the working with emotions piece that we're going to do during the practice. And if you're just joining, we're going to be working with, um, emotions in this practice and doing some voice dialogue and bringing it in. And, um, so what I would love now is if, if you all would just take one moment and reflect inwardly, and I won't ask you to put this in the chat or anything, but just reflect on what is an emotion that comes to me now that I'd like to work with in this practice. Again, it could be that recycled emotion that we've experienced a lot in our lives, and it could be a newer one or just something that currently you're working with. Like you're just right now you're working with disappointment or you're wanting to look at uh, joy and you feel like you've really been refusing joy in your life. So, so just think through um, an emotion, see what comes to you, and then uh, start to set up for the practice. So you can feel free to have your screen on or off. And what I'd like you to do is if you can, find a place where you can be in a lying down position. So this could be on the floor, a couch, a bed, a mat. If you can, um, please have a bolster underneath your knees and a pillow underneath your head. And uh, Pranab has muted us, so nobody will hear you snoring. <laughs> so don't worry about that and, um, and get comfortable. So this is the kind of practice that this non-sleep deep rest is a real thing. So you may fall asleep during the practice. You may fall asleep at the beginning, wake up at the end. You may be absolutely wide awake for the whole thing. It doesn't matter. So the practice is here for you as, as you are. If your body needs rest, it will take the rest. Um, it could even just dive right down into deeper stages of sleep. And then that's just what you get. And so if you can find yourself as comfortable as you can. Um, so if you're settling in right now, can you allow your shoulder blades to move down your spine? Notice where your hands are. And if you'd like, you can place your palms face down or you can have them face up or resting on your belly, wherever you'd like, but just notice and then do what feels comfortable. So also with your legs and feet, just find yourself supported. And once you settle in, get just 5% more comfortable. So, you know, the idea is to settle in so much that you won't need to move that much during the practice. However, if you need to move, that's there. This is a permissive meditation practice. This is not um, a form that you need to do from start to finish. The form, if it changes for you posture wise, that's fine. And the how of the practice also, if that changes for you in terms of 
whether you're engaged or my voice is an anchor for your own practice is a hundred percent in your jurisdiction here. So um, if you'd like to follow along with my voice and do this inquiry and really stay engaged throughout, then set that as an intention at the beginning. So, okay, let's get started. So begin by taking an in-breath all the way to the crown of your head. Exhaling, can you sense the breath and energy flowing all the way down your body to the soles of your feet? So follow that in and out now, inhaling to the crown of your head. Exhaling, soles of your feet. So finding this wave of movement. If you can begin to extend the out breath, letting the in breath come naturally. And feel the whole backside of your body and the surface that supports you. As you breathe in and out, still following your breath into the crown of your head, out to the soles of your feet. And place attention on your back, the back of your head, backs of your legs, heels, connecting points with the surface that supports you. And as you're doing the same breathing exercise, can you set an intention for this practice? So your breath into the crown of your head, exhale, soles of your feet, setting an intention perhaps to work with an emotion, perhaps to gain a sense of rest. And then let go of controlling the breath in and the flow of breath and energy. Just find your body breathing itself naturally. No controlling. Letting your day just begin to fade into the background. As you breathe in and out, sensing the whole backside of your body. Allowing your senses to be open as if it's a 360 experience of all of your senses, taste, smell, touch, sight, hearing. So in this stage, it's withdrawing the control of the senses. So just allowing the senses to be. Hearing is happening. Even if it's the inside of your eyelid, seeing is happening. You feel this whole body seeing, whole body hearing. Tasting, smelling. And then the touch of air on the skin or the touch points with the surface that supports you. Breath coming and going. Noticing the contents of your mind, if it's busy or slow. Can you allow it to, it's doing what it's doing, but can you kind of, in a way, take attention away from the mind and allow it to just operate in the background? But in the foreground is this experience of, of being, 
being awareness, aware of senses, your breathing, aware of, but not separate from breathing that's happening, thinking, the feeling. So rest here for several breaths, this resting as awareness. You may feel a sense of spaciousness throughout your entire body. with pockets of tension or holding. So if you rest as awareness, as you follow your breath in and out, let yourself be drawn to different places in your body. There may be tension or holding and with your breath, can you allow that to release or find spaciousness within it, around it? This is a gentle process, so just notice what you notice. Scanning your body. And let's come to a sense of ground in the body. So this is where we were inviting in a feeling of being safe with myself. I'm safe with myself in this moment. Ease, a sense of deep okayness. So we're, we're inviting this quality of well-being, of ease, of safety into our experience in the foreground of our experience. We'll do this with the breath and body. It's okay if an opposite arises. So often, you know, we're, we contain multitudes and we're allowing what's here to come forward. But the emphasis in this part of the practice is finding a sense inwardly of ease. It may be kind of a memory of a place you've been or a pet or a loved one or just by yourself in nature. And it may be an inner felt sense of peacefulness. It may seem elusive at the moment, but we're just getting a thread of the feeling of well-being in the body. Connecting with your breath. Begin to lengthen your exhalations as you sense the entire backside of your body. So letting go of any tension, releasing it into the surface that supports you. Exhale, lengthens. Again, we're connecting with a memory or a felt sense of, yeah, just being able to rest, be yourself, no, no need for a social face in this moment or just being who we are, raw, here, but with a feeling of being held. So notice the surface that supports you as if it's holding you, as if the space is supporting you. So on the in-breath, bring attention to the whole front side of your body, your face, chest, belly, tops of your legs, feet. As you inhale and exhale, 
Bring your attention to the whole front side of your body. Notice there might be a feeling of lightness or of spaciousness. Feeling a focus on the inhale. Front side of your body. And then we're gonna go back and forth. So inhaling, feel the whole front side of your body. Exhaling, feel the whole back side of your body, the weight, the ground. As you inhale, feel the front side, lightness, spacious. Exhale, whole back side of your body, heavy and relaxed. So follow your own inhale and exhale. Sensing lightness, spaciousness in the front side. Feeling weight, heavy, relaxed, whole backside of your body. Feeling these opposites with your breath and the energy moving from your front side to your backside. There's no correct way to do this, so relax the thinking, judging, controlling mind. Simply breathe in, front, breathe out, back. Relax behind your eyes and around your eyes. Relax your ears, your jaw, shoulders, hips, feet. Do this for two more rounds, inhaling front, exhaling back. Now on the next several breaths, feel your entire body simultaneously. So as you inhale and exhale, Notice if that feeling of lightness and heaviness may merge together. The opposites begin to be a shared felt sense. So breathing in and out, feeling your entire body simultaneously. Again, inviting in this quality of safety, well being, and ease. May just be an image of you resting or in water or in nature. And we'll do a body scan to, to ground our breath and energy as we continue the practice. So when I name a body part, simply notice the felt sense. And if there's any tension, the invitation is to allow the tension and actually dive into the center of it and see if it might spontaneously release into more spaciousness. So beginning with the jaw, you may kind of move your jaw around a little bit as you Notice if there's any tension. And then do the same thing with your whole face. So your cheeks and nose, both ears, both eyes. So as I name those parts, ears, eyes. Can you do that practice of diving into any subtle tension and then allowing it to release? Feeling your whole face as if 
the muscles are beginning to relax. Feel behind your eyes now. It might just be in the, the visual image comes to you from behind your eyes, but just sense behind your eyes and then exhale, allow your attention to go all the way through the midline of the brain to the back of your head and down to the back of your neck. Feeling any little muscles and how they may be holding your neck away from the surface that supports you and diving into them, they may just open. Breath coming naturally, gently. There's no agenda here. We're just moment to moment exploring body, breath, sensation. Sense from your neck now into both shoulders. Inhale to your left shoulder and then exhale all the way down your left arm to your fingertips. Breathing in and out. Sensing your left arm, your left hand. The pure sensation that may be like a radiance or a numbness or spacious, whatever's here. Take an inhale now, bring attention to your right shoulder, and then exhale down your right arm to your fingertips. Inhaling and exhaling. Attention is absorbed in your right arm, your right hand. Feeling the surface that supports you as you breathe in and out. Letting go of any tension that's unnecessary. Okay, and we'll do both. So inhaling both shoulders. Exhale both arms into the fingertips of both hands simultaneously. Let go of thinking the mind can't be on two objects at once very easily, but just sense both arms, both hands, and your breath. Feel it may be that a sense of heaviness or relaxation, you could feel spacious or light, whatever's here, just allowing it to be here. And bringing attention to the torso. So as you take an inhale, can you fill up the torso, the chest, belly, and then exhale. Sensing your whole upper and lower back, your sides, just being aware of your torso, the breath coming and going. If you do feel any tension in your chest or belly or back, could you bring this gentle awareness to the tension and then dive into the center of it? Notice what happens as you do so. It may just open into spaciousness. It may tighten whatever's here. There's no judgment. Just allowing the body to be explored, bringing breath and attention. So breathing in and out. And bring attention now to your left hip, taking an inhale 
And then exhale down your entire left leg to the sole of your left foot. So same with this, so breathing in and out, sensing your left leg, your left foot. Perhaps connecting in again with that sense of, of ease, of well-being, being held by the surface that supports you, being held. So you breathe in and out, left leg and foot. And then with an inhale, bring attention to your right hip. Exhaling, right leg, all the way to the sole of the right foot. Breathing in and out, right leg and right foot. Allowing the body to release tension where it's unnecessary. And we'll do both. So inhaling to both hips. Exhaling both legs, both feet simultaneously. Thinking can come and go, but all of your attention with your breath is in both legs, both feet. Notice there might be like a radiance of sensation. You could feel quite strong energy and sensation, or it could be muted or numb, whatever's here, noticing what's here. There's no right way. You now welcome your entire body into awareness. So legs and feet, arms and hands, Whole torso, neck, head, face, the whole back side of your body, the whole front side of your body, your left side, and your right side. So the whole body 360. Can you do this practice as you inhale and exhale? Where you continue to invite in a sense of ease, of relaxation, or well being. And you continue to explore and let go of any unnecessary tension or holding. And if something is here that feels tight and doesn't want to let go, there's no forcing. So we're just simply with a kind, loving attention, noticing what's in our experience. As you do this, follow the flow. It's like the wave of your breath in and follow it out as if you're catching a ride on a wave. So you're just behind it. Breath in. Breath out. Again, the thoughts are in the background and your breath and energy, the feeling sensation of awareness in the foreground. You may feel quality of being like lit up a little bit or inwardly awake or spacious and resting. You know, we're just exploring what's here. So take five more breaths in this place, just riding the wave of the breath in, breath out.
Okay. From here, we'll invite in this emotion that we like to work with. So if, if an emotion spontaneously appears right now, can, we'll work with that. And otherwise, if there's an emotion you'd been considering at the beginning of the session, what we're doing in this moment is we're just leaning in, leaning toward and inviting in this emotion that we experience from time to time. So again, it's not a 10 on a scale from one to 10. It's more like a four, a five even, but we're on a scale of intensity. We're not wanting to overwhelm our system. We're just welcoming in this emotion. And as we welcome it in, the first step is to feel it in your body. So how is it that you feel when you feel this emotion? Is it tightness in your chest or shoulders? Is it Uh, feeling in your belly, a specific feeling. And, and name the emotion inwardly. So disappointment, joy, sadness, anxiety. Whatever it is that you're working with and meeting, just name it inwardly, but then feel it as a felt sense that when you feel this, this is how you feel. So we're welcoming it in to get to know it. We're accessing the information from the somatic experience of our body. Sometimes there isn't a word associated with it. So if no word comes, that's okay. It might just be a felt sense. It might be like a gesture or a posture that we assume. So whatever's here for you, just we're meeting it. We're doing that process of meditation, naming, allowing, being with, noticing, feeling. This takes patience. So be patient with the process of feeling this emotion. Always available to come back to that place of being resourced or feeling the well-being. And in fact, right now, can you even feel the well-being that's surrounding and even within this emotion? There's possibility for it to be permeated with presence, with love. We're meeting the emotion, and then we'll just do this experiment with our psyche. So it doesn't have to be serious. I'm just looking, learning, being with. So if you're in a room that feels like a good light-filled room, it's a place where you feel safe and comfortable. And the, the door of the, the room opens and you're you're inviting in this messenger that's here, this emotion. So if this emotion comes in the room, notice, what does it look like? It can be anything from a color to a shape to a version of yourself when you were younger. So if it's disappointment or sadness, what does this emotion look like? So we're going gently and slowly with our psyche what comes in the room? What do we see? What do we notice? Is it yourself at a younger age? Is it something else? What if you had no judgment on it? You're just being with this emotion as it's personified or embodied right in front of you. And you're encountering it. So could you, if it feels right, just Show this emotion that you're here, that you're listening, that you're curious. And the emotion gets to do what it wants. So maybe it's sort of at the door, maybe it's come in, maybe it is sad or angry, but we're just, we're actually allowing it to be exactly how it is in this moment. So in your mind's eye, you're in this room You've invited this emotion in. 
how is it to simply be with this emotion, how it's appearing before you? Again, if no image comes, you can just stay in the room, see what it feels like, or you can stay with the felt sense of the emotion. So we're just meeting it at all levels. And as you're with this emotion, turn toward it and ask it this question if it feels right. You might ask it, what is it that you want? What is it that you want? And just listen. Let your psyche speak to you from this image in front of you or a felt sense. It might just be a felt sense for you. So it doesn't have to look a certain way, but you're asking, what is it that you want? And you're asking this with curiosity and, and then listen to the response. It might be, I want connection or any number of things. I want space or I want to be heard. It's just listening for the response. And can you receive it in the fullness of the response here without needing to rush? Just being with and meeting. And notice what this emotion is feeling, what it's doing now, how it's holding itself, if it's an image of you or if, if it's a shape, is it changing? Just being with, meeting gently. And then there's another question to ask. So you've listened to what it wants. Now we're gonna ask, turning towards it with care, even if it's hard to be around this emotion, can you feel the care from inside you? And the curiosity asking, what is it that you need? What is it that you need? Just listen. Might be, I just need to be here with you, or it might be, I need to be safe, or, any number of things, just see what comes to you. I need reassurance. But just listening, being with, taking it in. So we're getting to know this emotion. We're listening to what is it you want? What is it you need? It might not be speaking, that's okay too. It doesn't have to. And the, the third question here is, is there an action I can take to give you what you need? Is there an action I can take to give you what you need. And listen for the response. Notice how you feel in your body as you are doing this practice. Is there an action I can take to give you what you need? And then just listen. might be something like, you know, I need, you can, you can show me that you won't refuse me or you'll listen to me next time or I need you to slow down or I need you to speak up, whatever it is, just listening.
And as you're with this emotion, feel yourself, yourself in your center and feel this emotion present and notice how it looks and what it's doing and what it's saying, if it's speaking. And can you feel the whole gestalt of this, how you're, you're, you're here with this aspect of yourself and this is what it's like to be with your emotion deeply, to meet it on its own terms, to trust it has a message, that it's a part of you that's asking to come more into the light or be integrated more or understood. And we'll, we'll close this visualization with like a commitment. So perhaps there's a commitment you want to make to yourself or to this emotion. Just see what comes to you, or perhaps it's wordless. Then make any gesture like a bow or a hand on your heart and just letting this emotion know it can come and go. And, you know, sometimes you may need to let it know that you'll get back to it, but that it's free to be here. And as you, as you close that part of the visualization, come into contact with what is your experience in your body right now? Breathing in gently, exhaling slowly. Doing a scan from the crown of your head all the way to the soles of your feet. Just notice with care what's present. How is it to meet myself here? the wave of the breath again as you follow it in for five in-breaths and five out-breaths. Long, slow breaths. Feeling as you breathe in and out the periphery of your body and the space around your body. Riding the wave of the breath, sensing yourself held, the spaciousness within, without. Periphery of you, maybe dissolving, just feeling this spacious presence, but centered, feeling your core, feeling grounded. perhaps more integrated as this aspect of you shifts in your being to be closer, more met, paradoxically less fused with or less, you're less blind, blindly feeling it, more consciously feeling it. If that's still here as a residue of feeling, you can, again, do the sweeping inhales and exhales with your breath, just allow the cleansing nature of the breath to bring you back to a place of equilibrium, that quality of well-being. Let's invite in again, feeling as you rest into the whole backside of your body. It's like everything's okay in this moment. Just I can let go. Noticing those layers of the body sensation, the breath, emotions, thoughts, sense of me, of I, sense of self, 
quality of joy and well-being all it's kind of coming and going in this spacious awareness. What if life is that open? You know, and just explore in your own experience. What if it's that open just to rest here? Movements and awareness coming and going. Witnessing them, but not separate from them. As we move toward closing the practice, do any... Um, gesture or inward kind of a ritual to feel the sense of ground of your presence so it may be even something like clenching your fingers slowly in towards fists and then releasing out and then perhaps one more time Fingers in, fists closing, and then opening, releasing, noticing the sensation in the palms of both hands, back of your head, back of your neck, shoulders, hips, heels. Before we close the yoga nidra practice, Asking, is there anything that needs or wants to be acknowledged in this moment before I end this meditation? Is there anything that wants to be acknowledged in this moment? Perhaps placing your hand on your heart, listening. There can be such a strong desire to escape experience, yet it's in the deep meeting and the embrace that the spaciousness and the awakeness can just spontaneously erupt. So let yourself rest here as we close the formal part of the practice and I'll guide us through the closing and then we'll have uh, time after for some reflections after we stop the recording. But just as you begin to close the practice for yourself, you may start to move your toes, your ankles, you might rotate your feet. Same with your hands and your wrists shoulders, you might move your head from side to side. And feel free as we move towards the closing of the practice to leave your video off. You can put your video back on if you like. But we'll we'll end the the formal practice here as you the invitation is to bring your knees in towards your chest, roll off to one side, and just gently at your own pace, come back to a seated position. However, if you'd like to slip right into sleep from here, and um, then we honor that. There's, but we want to leave room for people to ask questions. So we'll end the Oh, formal practice and the recording here, and then we'll have some time to interact.